Hey everybody, my name is Alan. And I'm Esty. And I'm Becca. And we're your hosts for Hawaiian Electric's What Happens When video series. In What Happens When, we take a look at questions our customers ask us. About electricity, electrical safety, and energy savings. And we ask our employees to help us find the answers through hands-on demonstrations and experiments. Ooh, experiments. Mm -hmm. So today's question is, what happens when things touch our overhead electrical lines? What kinds of things? All kinds of things. Things that can hit overhead electrical lines every day. I get it. Like if somebody releases a balloon during graduation. Mm -hmm. Good one. Or if they're picking fruit during mango season? Exactly. What happens when those things and others like trees touch electrical lines? Oh, I think there'd be a big shock when anything touches our electrical lines. Even trees though? I mean, I can see metal fruit pickers, but what about wood? Mm -hmm. Good point. For answers, we're visiting our fellow employees on the beautiful island of Maui. Where the folks in their safety department have a cool way of demonstrating the effects of... What, what happens, happens when things, things touch, touch electrical, electrical lines. Hello, my name is Chandra Keen, working foreman for Maui Electric. I'm Brian Spielman, Maui Electric System Inspector. This is a tool that we use to demonstrate the dangers of electricity in a controlled and safe environment. This is a simulation where a person wants to get fruit, mango, or anything from a tree and accidentally contacts the line because the tree is in the lines right now. Accidentally contact with a long aluminum pole or metal pole. This is what happens when a metallic balloon contacts the overhead lines. So remember, stay at least 10 feet away from down lines. And avoid coming into contact with any electrical lines directly or indirectly. Mahalo. How cool was that? That was awesome. Did you see that tree? I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that thing. That was so dangerous. It is, and that is exactly why we tell our customers to please, please, please stay at least 10 feet away from electrical light. At least. That was a great safety tip, and I think Becca has another one for our audience as well. I do. Today's safety segment is about posting signs on utility poles. Please don't do this. Not only is it illegal, but the staples and tacks used to post the signs can rip and tear linemen safety gear. Always remember, safety first, safety always. What just happened? Great safety segment, Becca. Thanks. Well, seriously, what just happened? And there you have it. That's what happens when things touch our electrical lines. Check in with us again in August for another episode of What Happens When. Thanks for joining us. And for more information and safety tips, visit us at hawaiianelectric.com. Aloha. Aloha. Bye.